This video walks through installing all the dependencies for the motion matching locomotion controller. You start off by opening the package manager, which you can find in window package manager. And you're going to start in the unity registry. So if you see where it says packages in project, you'll change that over to registry. But first I have to uh, rearrange everything for reasons. We're opening up project settings. So we're going to need that to change the layers later, but we won't need that for any of the dependencies. I'm opening it now so that we can uh, enable parallel import, which dramatically speeds up the uh, import time for all these dependencies. The easiest way to do the install is using our uh, MMC locomotion documentation that's available on the web because it gives you a nice step-by-step -step guide on how to uh, do all of the importing in text form so you don't have to repeatedly pause this video to figure out how to do everything. So we'll start with burst, which is com.unityburst.unity.burst, sorry, if you have to install it by name. And after burst, we'll install collections. Then we'll get Cinemachine, and then we'll install two packages by name. The first one's going to be com.unity.jobs, which gets us the jobs package. And then once that's done, we'll install an optional package called com.unity.playablegraph-visualizer, which isn't necessary, but I always install it. And we go to our assets, and we're going to search for motion matching. We're actually now going to start installing the package dependencies here. So motion matching for Unity is required, so we import that, and we can import it in full. It's going to produce, you know, anywhere between uh, 12 to 16 warnings, no errors. It shouldn't produce any errors, but uh, just making sure we know what those warnings are. They're going to pop up every time we do another import, anytime there's a script recompile. Next, we'll install the other required asset, which is Movement Anim Set Pro from Kubold. In this one, to avoid errors, we need to not install the Playmaker Additional Actions directory or folder that's in this package. So we're going to move down there and uncheck Playmaker Additional Actions, and that'll stop all the errors since we're not using Playmaker. Okay, and those errors, are we just clear the console once we see what the errors are and confirm that, yep, they're transient, they're not going to stick around. And I try to clear the console after each one because I find it's much easier to see whether or not each import is going well. So before we import Strider, which is next, we're going to bring in Motion Matching Locomotion Controller so that I can show you some of the features of the dependency checking that happens in our config wizard. So we import the motion matching loc locomotion controller, which you'll do from the package manager, but I'm doing just from a package I have on my desktop. Then go to tools menu, three peat MMC configuration wizard, which will pop up our config wizard, which the first tab of which is the dependency checker. Now, right now at the time of this, you'll see Strider is showing up as red as if it was a required dependency. It should be yellow because it's not required but it's showing that Strider dependencies haven't been met. So we'll go ahead and install Strider. So we do the import. I, we, I always recommend skipping because there's some outdated dependencies in the Strider package. So go ahead and click import, but I would skip the dependency and then just make sure, yep, it's just more transient error warnings. Recheck dependencies. Strider's still not right because there's two other pieces missing. You have to go to plugins, animation, uprising, Strider, integrations and double click the strider mxm integration package import that and there is still one more thing to do but uh, that should make strider go green okay so now the only missing optional dependency is final ik you do not have to install that if you don't have it but if you do have it just go back to the package manager under my assets search for final ik and import that as well in full. Make sure there's no errors. And now we can recheck the dependencies. Final IK needs an integration package inside of 
the three peat folder. So if you go to assets, plugins, three peat, MMC locomotion, locomotion integrations, and go ahead and import that final IK integration. And while you're there, if you have Strider also, double click the Strider integration to make sure everything's good. But we're now checking and yep, all of our dependencies have been met. So we're ready to use both the required movement and MSET Pro and motion matching, as well as the optional Strider and Final IK in this situation. If you're not using either of those, you can just ignore all these steps. And now we're ready to test and use the motion matching locomotion controller asset.